Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation. But remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, the square root of v plus 3 minus 1 equals 7. Well, my first step is I want to bring a 1 to the right. I'm going to add a 1 to both sides. Leave me with the square root left over the left, v plus 3 equals 7 plus 1, which is 8. Okay. From there, I have to eliminate the square root, so I'm going to square both sides. That's the opposite operation of square root. Square root uh, squared leaves me with just the v plus 3 left to the left, and then 8 squared is 64 on the right. I then subtract the 3 to both sides to get v by itself, and I'm to the v equals 64 minus 3, which is 61. So now I need to check. Don't forget that step. I need to check this. So v, the square root of v plus 3 minus 1 equals 7. Be careful. The square root goes over to the 3, but not the minus 1. Attention to detail here. Now I'm going to substitute 61 in for v. So 61 plus 3 minus 1 equals 7. Be careful. Again, that square root is just over the 61 plus 3. 61 plus 3 is 64. Minus 1 equals 7. Square root of 64 is 8, right? Minus 1 equals 7. 8 minus 1 is 7. Left and right hand side are equal. Fantastic. That's great. Super confident that v equals 61 is my final uh, answer. So let's recap. We're given the square root of v plus 3, uh, then minus 1 equals 7. The square root is only over the v plus 3. I then added a 1 to both sides, leaving with the 8 on the right and just the square root of v plus 3 on the left. I then squared both sides, leaving me with v plus 3 on the left, and then 8 squared uh, equals 64 on the right. Subtract so the 3 to get v by itself, it's 3 to both sides, and so we had v equals 64 minus 3, which is 61. I had to check that answer. By checking, I rewrote the equation and substituted 61 in for v. 61 plus, uh, 61 plus 3 was 64. The square root of 64 was 8, and I brought down the minus 1 the whole way. It's 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 does equal 7, uh, both sides equal sign, and that's a true statement. Fantastic. And so my check confirmed that uh, we don't have an extraneous solution, and that V equals 61 is my final answer.